Now while it might be true that 73% of all statistics are made up on the spot, it's fairly widely accepted that uh, in terms of communication, the visual aspect makes up more than half of the messages that we send and receive. Things like body language and facial expression and those sorts of things account for a lot, which is why uh, seeing somebody face to face is usually a lot more beneficial uh, than uh, a phone call or an email. Now, at the moment with uh, Zoom and video conferencing being a big thing, how can you look your best on Zoom? How can you make sure that the visual aspects uh, of your communication are as strong as they could be? Let's have a look at that today. Hi, I'm Jason Foss. What we're gonna look at today is how to look your best on video conference software like Skype or Zoom. I've got four core tips that I'm gonna run through today, plus two bonus tips at the end, so make sure you hang around for those. These are in no particular order, but my first tip is to look at the camera lens, or at least look at the screen near your camera lens. As you'll see here, I've got uh, my laptop raised on a, on a cooling stand so that the camera um, at the top of the screen here is about eye height. And that's about where we want it to be so that when I'm looking at this uh, call here, uh, you're not looking up my nose or you're not looking down at the top of my head. Um, it's about eye line and I can sort of sit here and look at the screen and be pretty much looking in the same direction as the camera. From time to time, you might see somebody who has perhaps got their laptop uh, on the desk beside them down here, and then they've got a big monitor up here that they're actually looking at the call on. But because the camera's down there and they're sitting here looking at the screen like this, you're looking into the side of their head or in their ear, and whilst they're looking at this screen, they're almost looking past you. It's like if you were having a conversation with somebody and instead of looking here, they're looking over there while talking to you, it just, there's a bit of a, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not as smooth as it could be. Kind of like that sentence. So what we wanna make sure that we do is uh, whatever screen has got the camera in it, make sure your, your Zoom or your Skype window is on that screen so you're more or less looking at the camera. The second tip is to make sure you've framed yourself correctly uh, within what you're looking at. So you'll see here, I've got a, a little bit of space um, above my head here um, and down to about here. And so this is sort of how I'm sitting uh, in the frame. You'll see sometimes that, you know, people have got the laptop uh, lid angled badly or if they're using a phone or an iPad, it's angled badly. Um, and you've got, you might see somebody's head right down the bottom of the screen and all this empty space and the rest of the room behind them. Just tip the angle to try and sort of, you know, have the top of your head slightly below um, the, the top of the, uh, the video screen. Now, how far down you go will depend on how close you are to the, the camera. You know, the further back you are, the, the more down you're gonna see, the closer you are, the, the, the higher up it'll be. But try to avoid having too much empty space above your head. Just adjust the camera, or the, not the camera, but adjust the, the lid of your laptop or the angle of your phone or your iPad so that's about where you are. Now the third tip is the position of your lighting. So um, I'm pretty fortunate here, I can face into this window, so during the day I've got a lot of natural light. Um, and if you can do that during the day, that's the best. Natural light coming in through the window uh, is the simplest, easy way, easiest way to light yourself properly. What you'll want to avoid doing is having lights behind you and no lights in front of you. Because what happens is uh, you become really silhouetted and very difficult to see, and the, all the room behind you is lit up. So again, facing into the laptop screen here, you'll see that the, the background behind me, well, while there's light there, it's not overly bright, um, but my face is lit, so you know my expressions can be easily seen by other people on the video call. Now, if you can't get yourself in front of a window, what you wanna do is have a, a desk light or lamp or something else like that in front of you. Now, I've got this little guy here clipped to that, and I can, turn that on and it's not gonna do a whole lot in the middle of the day. Uh, but at night time, I, if I bring that blind down, that light's bouncing off the blind and so the light is then coming at my face rather than coming from behind my head. The other thing you need to uh, pay attention to as well is, the, is where the light is compared to your laptop screen or your webcam or, or your phone or your iPad or whatever you happen to be using. You wanna, if you can, have the desk light positioned on the other side of where the camera is. So if I had a light here in front of me and the camera there, 
Um, sure, it's going to light up my face as well, but some light flares will um, invariably end up on the camera lens as well, which is a look you don't want. So make sure that you push the light uh, away from you to the back of the desk as far as you can so that the light isn't directly uh, shining onto the lens of the camera. So they're my four main tips to get started off with. Make sure that you put the, the zoom window on the same screen where your camera is so you're actually looking at it, not looking off to a different screen. The second one is adjust the lid of your laptop or your camera or your phone so that you've sort of got you know, a bit of space above your head and the rest of you filling up the rest of the frame rather than having all this empty space above your head. Tip number three is don't have all bright lights behind you. And that goes on to tip number four, keep the light over this side in front of you, on your face, either with a window or with a lamp on your desk. Now I mentioned at the start, there'd be two bonus tips at the end. Um, and here they are. So bonus tip number one, if you have access to an external microphone, that can go a long way towards making you easier to hear. Um, so this guy here, just uh, a USB cord goes in the back and that plugs into, uh, into your laptop. Um, not overly expensive, I can't remember how much it was now, I've had it a, a little while, but um, you can get these things for not a whole lot. Um, and if you're doing a, spending a bit of time on video calls, they can make a big difference to how well you're heard. And my second bonus tip is to avoid the Brady Bunch screen layout. So you know the, the, the Brady Bunch layout I'm talking about, the, the grid where everybody is just an even size on the, on the screen. Uh, it can become really tiring to, to be looking at everybody at once. If you spend any time on Zoom, you know how, how it can wear you out a bit. So uh, try to use the speaker only view, which means that you've got the, the person speaking at the time occupying the main part of the screen. Um, you can have other people there as, as the thumbnails down the bottom if you like, but um, looking at one person at a time uh, is just a little bit less mentally fatiguing than looking at everybody at once. So there you have it. There's my tips for using Zoom. Uh, if you follow these things, people will be able to see you much, much easier, uh, hear you much better, and your communication over Zoom will be much more easily understood. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Hey, thanks again for watching. Um, YouTube seems to think you might be interested in these two videos over here. And of course, you can always hit subscribe over here if you like. Thanks for your support. See you next time.